Hey guys, it's Alice again. Welcome to another video. So now you guys have probably just got to university. I thought I would talk about how I stayed organized. For those of you who don't know, I have just finished my third year of university and it's super scary, but I managed to get through it with organization. I had a job at the same time and it seemed to go okay. So hopefully I can offer you guys some helpful tips and we're gonna get straight into it. So the first thing that I lived by at university was my planner so this is just a little a5 planner that I got from a website called personal planner and you can get any planner all I'd say is probably get something a5 or smaller just so you can chuck it in your bag and it's not going to add too much weight and then I also added little tabs for the months and I was able to customize what the spreads looked like and then in here I just had all my uni work and it was just my lifesaver you'll be able to see if I flick through it just how much I wrote in here because this was the only way I could keep on top of all my deadlines and make sure that I had everything done when it needed to be. Kind of in keeping with the planner, I also wrote to-do lists. So separate to the planner, I'd have a little notebook on my desk and I would write the things that I desperately needed to do that day and tick them off. And it's so satisfying ticking things off a to-do list. You can actually visualize you getting stuff done, which feels a whole lot more satisfying than just having a bit of a mental list. And it also means you won't forget anything, which I was so bad at doing. So I definitely use lists every single day. Tying in both of those things, I definitely recommend color coding the things that you write. So I have these kind of pens, they're from Bic and they have different colors on them. So you can change the colors just by pressing it down and you can get a whole bunch of different pens and maybe highlighters and kind of color code everything. So I used to color code filming YouTube videos, going to work, university modules, they all had their own colour and that kind of went across the board. So even on my to-do list, it was colour coded. Then in my planner, it was colour coded and so on. So at a glance, you can see what you're doing without having to like go in depth and read it all. You can look for specifically the thing that you need to be doing. I also have this little thing here. This is a weekly planner. You can get them from anywhere. This is actually my own. I designed this and I sell it on my merch site, which is always linked in my description but this is just different pages all saying the same thing Monday to Friday and then there's a little notes section and a to-do section and I basically write down once again what I'm doing on a weekly basis. I quite like that this can stay on my desk because when I get back I can visualize it, put down anything that I needed to complete at university that day and then kind of keep track of it all and you can also like add the dates and stuff so yeah these are super super helpful and once you're done with it you just tear it off and start again so love this. This next one is a little bit different. This one is to learn how to say no. So the key to staying organized is to not take on too much. So you end up being at the point where you physically can't keep on top of everything. So make sure you do say no to those things that could wait a little while or you don't necessarily need to do right that second. Say no, give yourself a bit of space and let yourself have some free time. Oh my God, this next one is so important. I definitely definitely recommend backing up your work so grab yourself a little portable hard drive this is just a one terabyte hard drive that i bought from amazon and it plugs into my laptop and this has my entire lives work of university on it so if for whatever reason my laptop broke or anything happened to my laptop I had it all on here as a backup because universities don't take, oh, my laptop broke as an excuse for you not having your work done. You need to have that work done no matter what. So back yourself up as many times as you can, whether it be through like an online cloud or on one of these or, or both. Just do as much as you can to keep on top of backing everything up at least once a week. I also liked to make a term plan. So I basically printed out A4 sized little calendars and wrote on there with the color codes again when my deadlines were and then every day I'd cross it off so I could visually see how close I was getting to deadlines and kind of what structure my weeks were. It kind of works well in combination with the desk planner because this obviously only shows one week whereas like a monthly view calendar has the whole overview so you can kind of visualize it in your head. And that actually brings me on to the sponsors of this video. So as you guys know, I have been working with Glide over the past couple of months. Those guys are so, so helpful when it comes to keeping yourselves organized, keeping on top of things. So Glide are actually a student bills company. They help you organize your 
bills. They set up your water, gas, electric, TV, broadband, all those things, work out all the payments and group it all together. So say you had four people in your house, they work out what it's gonna cost, divide it by four, and then each of you are only responsible for your one individual monthly payment. So that is something else I would write on my monthly overview, the date that my Glide payment was going out. It just means that you are solely responsible for your own stuff. You are not responsible if someone misses a payment, that's Glide's job. And Glide are just making it a little bit simpler for when you do get into a shared student house and all of a sudden realize you've got bills to pay for. So that kind of takes out the unexpected and hopefully saves you a little bit of worry. So I'll leave the link for Glide in my description. Those guys are so super helpful. So if you have any questions, let them know, click on the link and tell them I sent you. Okay, so another thing I find so helpful with staying organized is to keep my room organized. So keep your workspace organized and to me it kind of feels like my brain is clear. If I'm in a clear surrounding that's not cluttered, I feel like fresh and like I can get my work done. This especially counts because obviously at uni, you're probably gonna be studying in the same place that you sleep. So it's nice to have a nice relaxing area that's not too cluttered. One thing that I live by still to this day and especially through uni was to use my phone's calendar to its maximum capacity. So I actually have my calendar synced from my phone to my laptop. So no matter where I am, if I add something, when I get back home, it's gonna be updated. And I really like this because it does mean if I need to change anything, obviously I don't need to scribble it out. I can just delete it or edit it and just get back to where I left it. So I definitely recommend having a look at the different calendar apps you can get on your phone. Obviously there are the standard ones, but if you can get it to sync up to your laptop, it will save you so much time. And you can also set reminders and like countdowns and anything like that that you need your phone will remind you honestly I do not know what I would do without this thing <laughs> and my very last tip is to I feel like a mum get enough sleep so no matter what you do you're going to struggle to stay organized and to stay on top of your work if your brain isn't working at full capacity and one of those things that helps that is to get enough sleep I know it's easier said than done especially when there's a cool party or a cool event going on but do try your best to get enough sleep at least a few nights a week so you can be at your best and let your brain have some power to actually get through the next day. So that is it for this video. I really hope you found this helpful. As always, if you have any tips to stay organized, let us know down in the comments. Let's start a little discussion. We can help each other out here. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Glide for asking me to film this and yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with another one. Bye.